Here we have a word problem talking about a linear inequality, okay? Inequality is very much the same idea as an equality, but instead of dealing with a specific number as your answer, you're actually going to deal with a region, okay? Um, so for this problem, you score 87, 94, and 83 on your first three math tests. What must you score on your fourth test to obtain an average of at least 90? Okay, so the trick for this one is to remember how you calculate average. Okay, you always average out, you add up all the elements that you have together divided by the number that you're dealing with. So to find the average of these tests, we have our score of 87, 94, and 83. If we divide this by three, we would get the average of our first three tests. But that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about the average of our first four. We don't know what our fourth score is. Anytime we don't know what something is, call it x. So our fourth test is a score of x. To find the average of these four, we divide by four. Okay, and we want this to be at least 90. So we know we are comparing it to 90. The trick now here is we, want, we know that this has to be greater. The question is, is it going to be greater than or greater than or equal to? Look at our problem. It says at least. So 90 is okay. So that means we can have it equal to. If it said an average greater than 90, we would know that it couldn't be equal to, it would just be a greater than. Okay. So solving this out, how we solve linear inequalities is pretty much exactly the same as equalities. So for this one, get rid of our denominator, multiply both sides by 4, and this side's our 4 cancels, leaving us with just our numerator. And then 90 times 4 is 360. Combining like terms, 87 plus 94 plus 83, some bigger numbers, so I'll use my calculator. This ends up being 264 plus x has to be greater than or equal to 360. Subtract that 264 over. X has to be greater than or equal to 96. Okay, so if we get a 96, 97, 98, 99, or 100, our test average would be above 90. So by using inequalities and average, we're able to calculate our grade that we need to get in the A range.